Hey crafter, it's Amanda, welcome to my channel, and it's time for Tutorial Tuesday here on Crafters Autonomous. So we were cleaning out some board games and we had this Scrabble game and basically we had a whole bunch of the letter pieces but we were missing like a lot of the vowels and stuff. So not enough to actually play the game and plus who plays Scrabble like on an actual board anymore these days. But these tiles were so cute I didn't want to throw them out so I decided that I'm going to take these Scrabble tiles and an old cookie sheet and turn them into a piece of wall decor. So first things first, let's talk materials. I've got an old cookie sheet, Scrabble tiles. I've got some rope, I'm gonna use this as a border and to hang it up with. And you for sure want some magnets. The very first step before you do any of this project is make sure that the magnets actually magnetize to your cookie sheet. If they don't, then the project's not gonna work. So I just have this spool of like magnetic tape. I broke a little piece off and it sticks, so we're good. Once you know your magnets will stick, the first thing you want to do is prep your cookie sheet. For me, that means two big things. One, this cookie sheet is warped here on the end. It like bends in there weird. So before I do anything, I'm gonna get a hammer and just like whack it and see if I can flatten that back out. And then number two is I'm going to paint it. Now it's a little cold. It's like 55 degrees outside right now. And my can of spray paint that I want to use says it has to be at least 55 degrees. So we're like right on the edge there. I'm gonna try the spray paint. If the spray paint doesn't work, I'll get out, you know, a good old fashioned paint and brush and we'll do it that way. But I'm gonna go get my pan ready. What I need to do is hammer out this bend here. So I don't wanna actually whack the pan itself with it because this side that I'm whacking is going to be like the side you see. So to do this, I'm going to have a piece of wood on there and then I'll whack the piece of wood, but I'm gonna put some other pieces of wood underneath it so I don't ding up the other side into the concrete. nearly as bad as it was. I can make that be at the bottom. Now I've got my spray paint and I'm gonna spray paint this guy. So while I'm shaking up the spray paint, quick pro tip, if you don't have painting clothes, take like an old jacket or a pajama shirt or something and just turn it inside out. Cause who cares if you get spray paint on the inside of your clothing? really windy out here, so try not to spray paint on a day when it's windy. All right, show time. Oh, that looks so much nicer. We're gonna let that dry, and while we let that dry, I'm gonna get my letters ready. To prep my letters, I'm using this magnetic tape and it's got a little piece that peels off the back and there's a sticker. However, I have found over the years that the sticky part doesn't hold super well, so I'm gonna get my hot glue gun out and I'm gonna hot glue these onto there so that they hold really securely. I'm gonna put a dot of hot glue onto the back of my letter and then press the magnet on there firmly. One of the things that I like about this magnetic tape is to break it into pieces, you can just bend it and pull it apart. But if you want to, you can of course get out scissors. Now this is probably the most tedious part of the process because on every one of those little magnetic squares you have to peel the paper off and then you have to put a hot glue piece on every single Scrabble tile. And if you're using an entire set of Scrabble tiles, that's over 100 pieces. So it takes a little bit of time, but you'll get through it and it's totally worth it in the end. All right, so I've got my magnets glued to all my tiles. I've got to tidy them up because I've got these hot glue strings like all over them that I've got to clean off of there. But once I get that tidied up, all we have left to do is go get our tray and finish assembling our project. Ah, uh, darn it, it still looks a little damp. Maybe it's not, it might just be the sun. All right, I'm gonna touch it on the side to see if it's still wet or not. Oh, are we good? <gasps> I think we might be good. Yay for sunshine. Because it's totally the best way to make sure it's dry, you know, just touch it in there. All right, that looks pretty good, I think. Much better than the way it used to look. All right, I've got all my pieces here. The last thing we need to do is we need to use the rope to create a way to hang it up. And I'll also put some felt pads on the back of it so the metal doesn't scratch the wall when it's hanging up. But I'm gonna get all these pieces off of here first. So first step I need to do here is figure out what I want to do my top and what I want to do my bottom. Then I will go this way and I'll put the dings part at the end. On this side, I'm going to get these little 
felt pads on. They just thought it doesn't scrape the wall. Again, I'm gonna use my glue gun to attach these because these also, the sticky part, tends to come off, in my experience anyways. So you go slightly lift off the table so that way when it's on the wall, it won't scratch, scratch the wall. So then to hang it up, I'm going to use this rope here. And the gist of it is I'm gonna come all the way around the edge of the pan and also on the underside here and then leave a little loop up at the top to be able to hang on like a command hook or something. So I need to first figure out how long I need this to be. And I cut it there and it will hang like that. I don't think I like that, so I'm gonna cut it at this part here. Maybe a little bit extra in case I want to adjust it differently. But the trick to getting this to hold it securely is going to be lots and lots of hot glue. I'm just gonna start at the bottom. Put up some hot glue on my pan here and press my rope into place. You're gonna wanna go slow and hold your rope in place so that way it really bonds well. You slowly work all the way around, putting the rope in this kind of corner here. All right, so I'm gonna stop gluing. I'm not gonna glue it around this corner. I'm just gonna glue straight up and stop right here at the edge. So this is the top side here. I'm not gonna put any glue along this because this is where the rope's going to be able to hang. So that way our board can hang from a hook on the wall like a command hook or something. But I wanna make sure that I have enough left to go all the way around to where we started. And I do, so I like this length here for my hanging part. So I'm gonna start gluing it on right down here. All right, so now I have a decision. Either I have to cut it and let them like nestle together or overlap. I think I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna go a little further. And then I think I'm gonna cut it. And of course, once your glue cools all the way, you can grab all those pesky little tail ends of hot glue and clean those off your tray. But at this point, our project is pretty much complete. All we have to do is hang it up and put our pieces on the wall. So I'll go ahead and show you that. So here I'm going to show you some different ideas with this project. And actually to hang this up, I had to take a clock off the wall because that was the only place I could find to hang it. But there's lots of ways you can decorate with this. You can either just put the letters all on there and put whatever words you want in a Scrabble pattern. You can magnetize the player holder pieces onto the front and you can put letters in there and play like an actual game and take turns and keep track of your letters. Any of the extra pieces that you don't want to use, like say you don't want to use the tile holders or you have extra letters, you can just stick those on the back side. But I had fun making this DIY themed crossword. You can leave messages on there, put affirmations. You can really use this however you want, whether you want to put a reminder on there, whether you want it to be just fun to play a game with someone, or if you want to leave positive messages for yourself. So there we have it. This is our Scrabble art that we made. Thanks so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification down below for notifications, and come back next week for another tutu. Happy crafting. Hey, before we end this video, a couple of things. Don't forget that this week we have another crochet Friday. This week I'm going to be teaching you how to crochet the V-stitch. It's one that's super easy to get the hang of and it's super versatile and creates a really nice lacy pattern. Also, shout out to a couple of the people who have subscribed and commented on my videos. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of my viewers.